Let's briefly cover expressions and formulas in the C programming language. In order to do this, we'll just give some basic and quick examples of how to add, subtract, divide, and multiply. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a new file. And in our file, let's go ahead and do the skeleton for all of our C programs. Let's use pound include and include the, the standard library and create a skeleton for our main function and have it return zero. And let's go ahead and save this file. I'm going to name mine expression.c and go ahead and save that to give us some syntax highlighting. Now let's go ahead and create the variables to hold our numbers. We'll just use the same two numbers for all of our expressions and we'll call them num1 and num2. So since we've covered integer data types, let's create two ints and we'll name them num1 and we'll set num1 to a value of 10 and let's use num2 and we'll set num2 to a value of 3. So the first expression we'll show you how to do is addition. So we'll create a variable to hold the value of the sum of the two numbers and when we add two numbers we'll just put the two numbers and then in the middle of it we'll use the operator and the operator that we're going to use for these two numbers for addition is the plus sign just like in any other programming language or scripting language if you've done that so we'll do num1 plus num2 and then now the variable sum should hold the sum of these two numbers and we'll print that value with our printf function and then we'll substitute the variable sum for that and we can save our program and once it's saved let's go ahead and go to a terminal window and briefly show the output of the sum that we just did so let's verify that our program is in the directory and we'll compile it with the GNU compiler and I will use the program name. We'll name our executable exp just for short to make it quick and easy and supply the program name. So now it's compiled and we can run it with dot forward slash exp and you can see that the sum of our two numbers is 13. So 10 plus 3 equals 13. Now let's go back to our program and we'll demonstrate the other three operations. We'll do subtraction. We'll create a new variable and we'll name the variable difference and similar to sum what we'll do is we'll do num1 separated by the dash or minus operator and then num2 and close it with a semicolon and then next if we want to do multiplication we'll name our variable product equals num1 and just like any calculator or other scripting or programming language we use the asterisk for multiply and then num2 and we'll close that with a semicolon and then if we want to do division we'll use the forward slash so we'll name our variable quotient num1 divided by num2 and then we have our quotient and let's go ahead uh, to demonstrate we'll print those values we'll use difference and then substitute the difference for that and then we'll print out the product with the product variable and then we'll do the quotient and then substitute quotient. So here's the four examples of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let's go ahead and save our file and go to our terminal window and we'll try to compile it again and hope that we don't have any syntax errors. And it looks like I did have a syntax error. So real quick, this is a good introduction to troubleshooting. You can see that the compiler gives us the line number that the error is on. So it says it's on line 9, there's an error. And just looking here, I can tell that the second variable, I didn't name it right. So I'll need to go back. And if you want to see line numbers, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and G-Edit. And you can do Display Line Numbers, close it. And then we go back to line 9 that the compiler indicated. And we need to use the variable 2. So let's go ahead and save that, return to our terminal window, and compile it again. And you can see the compilation worked that time. So to run our program, we use that. And we can see the output of our addition, uh, our subtraction, our product, and our quotient. And we can check all these. 10 plus 3 is 13. 10 minus 3 is 7. 10 times 3 is 30. And 10 divided by 3 is 3. And as you probably know, 
10 divided by 3 is not exactly 3. There's a decimal there. So that displays a limitation of using our integer data types. They only represent whole numbers and they do some rounding. So this is a good segue into other numeric types and we'll cover those next.